Uh, Taylor Hall came out yesterday. Will entertain a one or a two year deal. Cool. I mean, that's huge. That's not cool. That's huge. Darren Ferris is Taylor Hall's agent. And here's what they said. So, so Elliot and uh, Dave Amber and Chris Johnson had, again, it's like a great five minute video. So they said the process is going to be similar to what Tavares did, but obviously you're not going to have a parade of teams coming in because of uh, COVID, but Mm -hmm. no offer from any team will be dismissed out of hand. Meaning he's willing to go anywhere and willing to look at anything so long as you meet the, the criteria that they want. So I'm assuming on a shorter term contract, Taylor Hall is going to be on a winning team. If you're going to yeah. sign a shorter term deal, I think Taylor Hall wants to be in the playoffs and he wants to win. He's played five games. Well, and then whatever you call this year, he wants to be in the playoffs. So if you're a team that's got room for a guy like that, I mean, it depends on what it's going to cost you. But my question to that is, how many winning teams have the money to pay Taylor Hall? Because you'll have to pay him extra if he's going to take a shorter deal, right? How many teams have the money to pay Taylor Hall extra to play for them for two years? Because there are not a lot of of cup-caliber teams that are going to have it. Now, they'll make space. I'm sure Vegas will be in on this somehow. But you look at what Dallas did with Pavelski, and and Corey Perry was less of a factor. Pavelski was still scoring at a pretty high clip. Um, you know, you find those deals, but this is, you're not going to get Taylor Hall at $7 million. Adam, there was, so after game one of the Stanley Cup final, Dallas Stars won. Mm-hmm. And after game one, Dom decision, his model still had the Stars at less than 50% to win the Stanley Cup final. And I went, why the heck do you have that? They're three wins away. And he says, well, because I'm anticipating Steven Stamkos potentially coming back. And then he did. He only played three minutes, and then Tampa Bay won the Cup. Then the odds were released after Tampa won the Stanley Cup. They're not the favorite for this upcoming year. And no, they didn't lose points because they were, you know, basically drinking out of a cup with strangers during a global pandemic. Ah, I said global pandemic. It's redundant. Pandemic. The Colorado Avalanche are the top team. They're the top odds team to win the Stanley Cup. Why? They didn't win it this year. I think it's in anticipation of who they're going to get. And they are absolutely in a position to get Taylor Hall or whoever the hell else they want. They have the assets. They have a good team. They have the cap space. Are you telling me Taylor Taylor Hall goes to Colorado? Are Taylor Hall and Nathan McKinnon going to play on the same line next year? Or the Taylor Hall, Nazem Kadri, and who cares line? Hey, Producer Lannis Drew Cog. has been in my ear too much. Would it be Lannis but, Cog or would it be Rantanen? Who cares? Like your top line could be <laughs> – your top line could be uh, McKinnon, Landis Cog, and Rantanen. Then you could have Nazem Kadri, friggin' Taylor Hall, and uh, who's on the right? Who cares? Who ca- oh, okay. Who's in there? Burakovsky, Donskoy. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Okay, by the way, low-key, uh, Donskoy was a great pickup for them. He's been he's a, underrated, basically, everywhere he's gone. 100%. That was a guy I wanted to see the Leafs go after last year, but I don't think they had the money. Yeah, you got Donskoy, uh, Matt Calvert's also there. Um, you know, he's not, a, he's not a great – like, he's good enough, right? You, it would be guys – they've got to re-sign Burakovsky this year, so they're going to have some money locked up in that. But, I mean, man, oh, wow. Scary. Taylor Hall should go to the Colorado Avalanche. Well, there you go. There you go. Steve Nagel says it here first.